Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to another video. Thank you for um, clicking on this video and joining us. Um, first off, if you're not already subscribed, if you can uh, just pop down to that subscribe button, give it a quick click for us, and also hit that notification bell because um, you'll also get you'll get all you always get notified then any new videos or content or upload to the uh, to the uh, channel and it, every sub helps me so I really do appreciate it anyway enough of all that um, I like it let's get on um, so what we've got for today we've got um, Capcom Arcade Stadium it's currently available on the Switch platform um, I've just checked the Wikipedia page and it's yes, it, it, it is coming out for Microsoft um, uh, PC software and um, so you can get on via Microsoft PC, uh, Xbox and PS4 so I'm assuming you can also it will be backwards compatible on the store via if you've got PS5 or one of the series X or S consoles as well so um, it's just to be announced on that so I don't think it's been a date set for it so I'm assuming it should be quite soon so if you haven't got a switch just hang on you'll be able to get it on the uh, other platforms very soon but uh, anyway let's take a look at this it's currently on a switch so let's have a look what we can get it's um if you like your retro games these are all going to be arcade so arcade ports um, I'm pretty sure there's quite a few of the games that are on here that have already been ported in some way or other to previous consoles or or via the store already, like there's that Capcom belt action. So I'm pretty sure there's a few games on here that have already been, been released on that. And that sort of um, way to buy it on the store. So there are other ways to play these games, but this is all in a one package. You just add games to the. Um, I think the free the uh, the interface is free to buy. Then you just add games what you need to buy. Just add add them as you need what you want them. Or there is a package that you can buy. Get every single game on there. And uh, there is some games what I noticed there hasn't really been ported to console. Um, I'm not sure what this 1944 has. Um, I think that's the one which is first. This is the first port console. I don't know it, it's been any, in any packages before, like uh, in previous consoles. Um, not sure, it might have been in the Capcom generations, I'm not sure, on the uh, Sega Saturn and the PlayStation 1. Uh, could be mistaken on that. Um, Pro Gear, that's another one. Um, that's never been ported to console, I don't think, in the past. And it's a great horizontal shooter. We'll take a look at that in a bit, so, anyway. Vulgus. Iger Maru. Pirate ship, pirate. Iger Maru. Never heard of that again. Yeah, very unfamiliar with that one. Ah, 1942. Now, this game is what I remember as a child, uh, back in... 1983, 1984, when I used to go to the Seaside Arcade, I'd put my tempies in and play this game to its heart's content. Um, loved it when it, uh, I think I had a Commodore 64 at the time, and it got ported to that, but it was really disappointing when it came out, it was a really bad port. Uh, nothing like the arcade. Commando, another favourite as a child in the arcade, um, so I'm looking forward to playing this. I'm not sure whether this came out previously in a, uh, in a pack before. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I think it, it, it was on the uh, Capcom Generations pack, 100% of that, um, which was previously released for the PlayStation 1 and Saturn. I've actually got the uh, Capcom Generations package for the PS1. I'll have to take a look at that see if it's on it. The original Ghost and Godwin. 
quite ironic because it's all just been remade and uh, resurrected, if you could say. Based on Goblin's resurrection. I want to pick up and have a quick look at me on my previous videos. Uh, I put, I put a quick like um, look at it. Uh, I'm it. Very impressed with it actually. Uh, I like the art style of it, the new resurrection. Section Z. Unfamiliar with this game, heard of it, but uh, not really uh, played much of it. Takai no Banker. I don't know what this game is, never played it before, but uh, looking at a screenshot, it's a, it's a strong and beaten up from the 80s, late 80s. Legendary Wings. Never really played this one, but I'm familiar with it. I think I've played it on emulation before. Um, in the past at some point. Um, it's like 1986 it was released on the, uh, on the screenshot on the uh, cabinet. I like the uh, I like this interface. Let me know what you think of it. It's really interesting. We're going to take a look at some games soon so, so we can see, see what they're like. Buying it Commando. And remember this, uh, I think it got first played this on the Amiga, if I remember right there. Um, yeah, I, I remember it being an arcade port and uh, never seen it in the arcades. I've seen screenshots and that. it must have been from computer and video games. Maggie and I used to regularly buy back in the eight, late 80s and early 90s. And uh, I remember it getting a port to what was. I think it got ported to the NES, but the NES wasn't really popular there. And I think Amiga uh, got port. I think that's the only. Way got to play it back in the day. 1943, which is, I think it's the third irritating irritation of. Uh, well, it's just a, no, it's a sequel to 1942, so this is one of the second in the series. There is a 1941, but that one's, um, I think that one's uh, the third in the series. Which is quite um, confusing if you look at it. I'm familiar with um, these Capcom World War II shooting. You'd have thought 1941 would be uh, an earlier release, but no, I think it came after. I think that's a CPC2 release, 1941. Ah, uh, Forgotten Worlds, one I had on the, uh, which was a pretty good port as well, for Sega Mega Drive or Genesis if you're uh, in America. I had this, uh, I think I had it on Japanese import on back in the day, the uh, Sega Mega Drive. Ghouls and Ghosts, another great Sega Mega Drive port I own. Um, I think I also had it on uh, Sega Saturn, not under the uh, Sega Capcom Generations pack. can't remember which one it was now, might have been two, I'm not sure. Um, Strider. Another brilliant port for, uh, in fact, one of my first gen uh, Mega Drive games I owned, uh, Strider. I remember it well and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good port. Uh, got really good reviews uh, in computer and video games. As I remember, Dynasty Wars. I don't think I played this. Um, I think it's on the, the new belt action compilation what you can get on the Switch and PS4 and I think it's also on Xbox as well um, along with Final Fight uh, first, play, first played this didn't really play it in the arcades I think I've seen it a few times but obviously being uh, not very rich in the 80s and um, I think the first time I've seen this was uh, the Sega uh, Sega what am I saying Sega Super Nintendo port which would have been, for me, I would have seen on the Super Famicom because back in the day I only had a Japanese Super Nintendo. Aha, here we are, 1941 Counter Attack. Now this is the uh, later era, later version of 1942 straight 1943, 1941 Counter Attack. Uh, played this on main previously. I don't think it's been ported officially to any 
previous packs, I might have been mistaken. Um, maybe you could uh, let me know on that one. Mercs or Senjo no Akami 2, which is Commando 2 apparently. And uh, it got a very good port on the uh, Super Mega Drive, which I enjoyed very much. That's still got it in my collection, if you recall. Yeah, I really like this game, it's one of my, my favourites for the uh, Sega Genesis. Don't forget, I'm going to say Sega Genesis, these are all arcade ports on this, um, on this compilation. Mega Twins. Not, I've heard of it, but uh, very unfamiliar with the game. Not played it. Interested to play it at some point. Carrier Airwing. I played this early on the day. Can't remember if it got a Super Nintendo port or Super Famicom. Pretty sure it did. Um, one thing I noticed that isn't on this um, port is uh, Area 88 or UN Squadron, is it in the West? Um, not, not, not seen that on here. Unless it's up further up, I don't know, but I don't initially see it first seeing it. I remember seeing it. Street Fighter 2. Hmm. Now has this been ported to console before? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I think it has. <laughs> Just once or twice. Captain Commando. Uh, add this on uh, this has been on the belt action. Um, on the belt action compilation via PS4 Switch. Xbox, I think they call. I can't remember what the, uh, what do they call the West version? It's Belt Action, Capcom Belt Action in Japan, isn't it? So, I can't remember what to call it in the West. So I, uh, I imported my, uh, Nintendo Switch one, meet, uh, physical one from Play Asia, so I can't remember what it's called. It's probably just like called Capcom Collection or something. What? I don't think this is the uh, receiver console port at any point. Um, never remember it in the arcade, but uh, I am very familiar with it through uh, emulation over the years. Um, I think that's the end point of that for previous being able to play this game. And, uh, it's a good one, uh, pretty good. Um, but if it has got a console port, let me know. Um, I'd be interested in that. Warriors, Warriors of Fate, I think this has only had a console port before the, uh, the belt action compilation what I said previously. Street Fighter 2, Hyper Fighting. Another uh, updated uh, Street Fighter 2. Been released many times on consoles. As well as Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Power Gear. Isn't this called something else in the uh, West? Pretty sure it was. In fact, is Power Gear. Yeah, I think Power Gear is the West version. I think it was called something else in Japan. Um, from the Belt Action series as well, so you can pick that up via this compilation or the Capcom Belt Action. Cyberbox. I don't think this, I think this is on the belt action as well, uh, compilation, as well as this, so pick it up there if you want to play this game. 19XX. Now, I think this is the latest version of the 1900 series. I think this is the last, last in the one. I always get mixed up with uh, when they use 19 in the Capcom series against the Strikers 1945 by Psyche, Sid Psyche. Uh, Battle Circuit, it's been released on Capcom Belt Action, as well as this um, compilation. Giga Wing, uh, Dreamcast, still got it on my Dreamcast, that got ported to there, as well as Giga Wing 2, which in is a ton this compilation. Oh, 1944. Now was this released before 19 XX or 
interesting to know that. Uh, it says 1996 on that screen. I'm pretty sure 1944 came first. So this is probably the uh, fourth in the series. 19xx is probably the uh, final. Let me see. No, I think actually this is the uh, final version. Maybe somebody can uh, let me know about this series, the 1940 series. Um, Interested to look that up and we're back to premium. I think that we've gone through every game there. So let's have a look at a couple, shall we? Uh, what, which one shall I be interested in? I'll be interested in what, looking at some of these um, compilations which um, I haven't seen before. 1943, oh, there we go. Let's have a look at some. Let's have a look at 1941. I like 1941, which is the vertical shooter from that screen. So let's have a look at. Hang on, I've gone back. Whoa, there we go. 1941. Let's not hit the back one. So we can start game. Let's have a look at some display settings. What we can change. So preset. Super. So. Custom. Normal. Dash. Oh, I know. Excuse me, Super. That's your custom. Normal. Dash. Oh, that's your custom. Normal. Dash, which is got a, got a filter. Ah, that gives you some kind of order, doesn't it? Ow! Yeah. That kind of logo. I usually like, I don't have a logo on the or a border. I usually like uh... Ah, you've got different uh, be uh, like bezels. Right, like an upright cabinet. So, keep it at non. Arcade. Ah, this is the, uh... uh Max, we don't like that. We don't like it stretching out. Normal. Normal stretches to your full screen, so I think normal's the way to go if you want, uh... This is going to be a scan lines, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, right, so... So, type A is... So, non. That's with no filters at all. So type A is show scan lines. Now, I like the uh, I like the RGB pixels. I like that classic CRT look. So some don't like it, some like uh, none at all. But I like a I like a filter one because well I'm old school, so I like it being showed like on a proper CRT. Soften pixels, I'm not keen on that. I like to have the nice sharp pixels, what they're supposed to look like with, with, with the filter on. Each to its own preference, I say. Uh, everyone, has its, uh, everyone has their own uh, preference. Scan that like now. Ah, curve display, now that's... I do like that, that's... Um, it gives that little... What are you doing RGB filter with? Uh, Curve display. Oh, they don't do. Let's keep it to that. Just with um. Ah, now that's interesting. I'll be able to take this on my uh, monitor. Um, because I do have a. It's not a cabinet. It's like a monitor. That I've, I've made my own little arcade cabinet with it. It's a horror, uh, vertical screen, so I'll be interested. I'll be interested to take the switch up to the uh, that screen and try it out on that uh, on the Tate or Tate mode screen that I've got set up. So you can have it any flip it anyway. Display orientation, right? 
What's the difference between screen orientation and display? It seems to do the same thing there. Eh? Oh right, I got it. That keeps the uh that's just the display. That flips everything, even the uh Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll keep that. We'll go to we'll try this game out. Yeah, we'll keep the changes. We've got no filters on, but we've got the uh, like a CRT curve on it. Let's give it a go. Right. It's been a long time since I've played uh, 1941, so... What's the uh, game setting? Not after... Just this... Seven? No! Let's bring it down to... You can even bring it down to zero. Nah. Just for the sake of the video, let's try and get... Let's... Bring it along. Difficulty in curse rate. Difficulty in cross rate class. Does that mean it? I look that now. We'll keep that the same. Only fire speed. So you can have very fast, very slow. Keep it as slow. Game speed normal. A track mode on. So basically, I've just uh, made it a bit, little bit easier. Off we go. 1941. So if you like any of these games, obviously uh, you can buy them as singles, I think, or a little packs, or you can go out and buy the whole lot, and uh, you'll have a whole game selection ready to go. So, I'm in there um, it's about 40 pence I've spent in it it used to be used to about 23 a go oh, I'm going to have to find a play 1942 so many numbers in that game in the seaside great armor that one's about Oh. Oh. Designed to eat your, eat your money. Maybe 10 pences. Maybe the tape. Or 20 pences. Whoa! That's a small bomb. Thank you. So if you're picking up this compilation, let, let me know what you're going to buy first, or are you just going to go in deep and uh, get the old map? This is a uh, easy level one. Maybe I should have gone for zero. I do really need to arcade stick to play. You get a better experience with your arcade stick, I, I feel anyway, that's my preference. Uh, so that's one, one thing I'm going to be setting up soon. Yeah. 
Oh, you only get one life, don't you? Yeah, of course you get energy levels. Oh, no. Continue. I think it's one game when you're trying all that. I'm gonna have to do a live stream of the really compilation of this. Try and get all the games played. In one sitting. In one huge live stream. Might even complete a few games, who knows? <laughs> but I'll have to put them on there. Easy to put them to. score though so I must be good on easy level one it looks like you're fine for me Let's have a quick look at another game, then we'll, uh, we'll call it that. Uh, we'll wrap this video up then. So I do get back to the main menu. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, that's me. Hey, 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 hey. Top look. Okay, how do we get back to the menu? Ah, here we go. Just keep pressing back. So we can play Mercs. What will we have a look at? A carrier airing. I won't play a fight because um, definitely need an arcade fight stick for that. You know, I'm not very good at them. I'm uh, <laughs> we'll not play some of on the Capcom belt. Ooh, giggling. Now that'd be interesting. I'd like to see what that was. 
Let's try this, because this hasn't been ported before, so I need to see what Pro Gear looks like. So, we want to change the display settings. Ah, ah that's a preset, isn't it? So, so, it's all... So, custom. So, we've got no frame. Normal. Yeah, I want normal. I want it to fill the screen. Scan lines, soften pixels, show RGB. I like, I like that. And you've got the, uh, the curved CRT style screen. You've got a curve. Then they don't do the RGB with curved display. We've got scan lines with curved display. We'll keep it at that because it's a horizontal game. Obviously, if you've got a if you've got your monitor in tape format um, or hot vertical, which you can change it. Obviously, if you've got a vertical shooter, but obviously you're going to want to play this in horizontal mode isn't it? because it's a horizontal horizontal style game so you know, let's go back yeah we'll check shoot the fill for that and boom, 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 game settings easier definitely easier first go on it you don't want to like going you want to build up gradually you want to run before you can walk Let's look at the game manual. See what we've got about this game. Show you guys what. Uh, might show you some. Uh, or you might get some arcade. Uh, you know, artwork and stuff, but obviously. You don't get no special challenge. Like I say, these will all be online. Or online challenges for you to complete, or score challenges. So, if you've got friends that play it, play any of these games, you'll be able to, I'm sure you'll be able to like, challenge their scores and everything. So, that's another little additional option you can do on these games. But yeah, this looks pretty. I actually like the curve curved with scan lines. it gives it that natural CRT look I would have preferred RGB pixels but uh, never mind it looks uh, looks quite natively playing it on a old CRT but hey, let's give it a go that's me money in no. I think I've only ever, because it hasn't had a console port this one, I think I've only ever played it via emulation. Previously. Never played it in the arcade. Um, not sure whether it really came over to the uh, UK or I don't know if you had it in the US, if that's where you're from. But uh, I'm pretty sure it was mainly stayed in Japan. most of these style games didn't really come over in very small doses right okay there we go Oh 
Did I change it to easy? That's going to give you a good challenge anyway. finger down on the, the buy button, it adds that automatic. Yes, I've always got this super like smart one, which I haven't used yet. Why do I always forget to use the smart ones on shooting? I always try to hold them back, now I never get to use them. Oh, I went into that. I went into that. <laughs> this one, you definitely got to learn the pattern job. It's pretty much bullet hell, isn't it? <laughs> this must be one of the earliest bullet hell games. Okay, now. A bit like you know, the cave shooters now. about no then just just for now and didn't die then right and I think I've gone like two minutes without dying stage two boss I've got two bombs. No, I've got no bombs. No. Oh, I've seen that coming. Oh, one more. One more, then we're going to wrap this up. Too many. 
Finally! God! He was tough. Yeah, if you like your shooting ups, this is a definitely a top shooting up game. Reminds me of uh, Akai Katana a bit. Okay, I think that wraps it up. Um, yeah, this is, uh, if you like the video, uh, let's get back to the menu. Back, back, back. Let's get back to the main menu. Yeah, that's Capcom Arcade Stadium. So yeah, pick it up. Um, it's free, the main interface is free. Um, add whatever game you like, uh, individually or in little packs, or get the whole lot. I think it's 39 or 32 games, something like that. Um, let me know what you think. I'm, you know, um, I might do some individual gameplays and uh, playthroughs of some of these individual titles on here. I want to try and uh, play a bit more of that, that probe here. Um, I've been waiting for a proper port of that for, well, forever, because I think that's the first time it's ever been ported, so looking forward to playing that in the future. But yeah, if you like the video and uh, any of this content I hear you're interested in, go purchase it. It's going to be on the PS4 and Xbox soon, uh, as, well, as well as uh, PC via Microsoft Store, I reckon. And uh, pick it up, so I'm enjoying it. That retro style. Leave us a like and uh, I'll see you in the next video.